in case you missed it. A city in northern Poland, Białystok, held its first gay pride parade on the 20th of July, and violence broke out as anti-gay protesters attacked people and burned rainbow flags. Stones, glass bottles, and rotten vegetables were thrown. Anti-gay protesters spat on people in the parade, and tear gas was used to disperse the angry crowd. Which wasn't just hooligans, but people with children, such as this man putting his child in a stroller between himself and the police. In all, 25 people were arrested. This type of rage and hate doesn't come from out of nowhere. So this video looks at how did Poland get here? And what does what happened in Białystok mean? As a queer person living in Poland, I've been really struggling with this. To begin, Poland is a staunchly Catholic country. Between 87 to 90% of people identify as Roman Catholic, depending on whose survey you look at. If you're wondering why the country is so homogenous when it comes to religion, well, because of World War II. All the Protestants, who were German, were forcibly expelled after the war ended. The fate of Jewish people in Poland, of course, is much more tragic. There are still things here I find shocking to my American eyes. How much of a role the church plays in education, for example. Religion, and by religion I mean exclusively Catholicism, is taught in public schools here. My jaw hit the floor the first time I saw a crucifix hanging in a school where I was working. And it's not just schools. The church plays a huge role in government, especially with the ruling party, law and justice, an extremely conservative right-wing party, which some, like me, may call fascist. Law and justice, PIS for short, the acronym standing for the Polish words for law and justice, Prawo i Sprawiedliwość, has been accused of pandering to nationalists, even letting them take over Polish Independence Day, celebrated on November 11th. How do we know they're nationalists? Well, they like to yell things like Poland for Poles, pure white Poland, and they like to talk about a white Europe. The European Union had a parliamentary election this May. Ahead of that, PIS stepped up their anti-gay rhetoric, criticizing things like a proposed sex education bill in Warsaw, that would include mention of sexual orientation. In the past few years, PIS's favorite target has been immigrants, specifically refugees from the Middle East. When the Syrian refugee crisis was at its worst, xenophobia and racism in Europe was also at its worst, as PIS party members refused to let any Muslim refugees settle in their country. I'm not alone in thinking that gays have been targeted because the refugee crisis is no longer in the news as much. And now that the party's previous scapegoat isn't as relevant, the party needs a new target. PIS, like all good right-wing parties, is a huge booster of the family, even passing a bill called 500 Plus, which gives all families with more than one child 500 extra lattes a month, just for having a child. Or for families with one child who fall below a certain income threshold. Do I even need to mention that gay marriage is illegal in Poland? PIS won a majority in the elections this May, getting 43.1% of the vote, centrist party group Civic Platform getting 38.4%, liberal party Wiosna, which means spring in Polish, got 6%, and longtime leftist group Razum, together, got a measly 1.2%. So how bad is what happened in Białystok? Let's look at some footage and photographs, and you can decide. Warning, these images are pretty terrible. It got worse. After Białystok, conservative newspaper at Gazeta Polska included LGBT free zone stickers in a subsequent edition. 
There's a backlash against this, as some people pointed out, this was awfully similar to zones that Jewish people couldn't use during World War II. A court banned the sale of the newspaper with the anti-gay sticker inside, at least. A number of stores, such as the bookstore Empik, refused to sell the paper. In the week after Białystok, several cities in Poland, including Warsaw and my city, held solidarity marches on the 27th of, of July. There was even one in Berlin. The march in my city ended at the bishop's house by the city's cathedral. It felt incredibly empowering. After a week of hate and seeing the awful images from Białystok being shared, it was powerful to walk up to the doors of one of the institutions responsible for creating the hostility. But it was also emotional for me because of this. In the city I live in, this appeared on the side of the building next to mine. It reads, destroy LGBT in Polish. I've contacted a local group about having it removed, but it's still up there. A message I see every day when I walk home. I've taken a different route a few times, but this means walking around my block. It doesn't change the fact that some of these far-right hateful people are in my neighborhood. I've tried to cover it up with post-it notes and memes, but they all have gotten removed within an hour. I even had an old lady spit on me for putting up paper over the graffiti, which, as of this day, is still there. I do wonder about my own safety here. The target symbol is actually a Celtic cross, a symbol of white supremacy. I did have one neighbor pass by and thank me for trying to cover up graffiti calls by fascisi, fascists in Polish. Her words, not mine. I've always known that Poland isn't great for gay people, but now, for the first time, I really am thinking about leaving. I don't know about my future here. While I do love the city I live in, it's just hard living in a place where the church and the government are so open about hating people like me. What makes me upset is that the ruling party is doubling down on their message of hate. During a homily to mark the Warsaw Uprising, when Polish resistance fought back against the Nazis to free their city at the end of World War II, the Archbishop of Krakow repeated how gays are part of a Western movement to undermine the church and family. Poland has parliamentary elections for its own government this October, and I'm afraid that PIS will continue with this hateful propaganda. I am so fucking sick of the church using morals as a reason to hate a group of people. In Białystok, we saw the natural consequence of that hatred. This has been a hard video for me to make, for obvious reasons. In addition to wondering about how safe I am here, my family is angry at me for my lefty views. After looking at my Twitter and Facebook, my father demanded I get my things I had stored at his house out, along with finding a new place to have my mail sent. His sister, my aunt, is also involved, and when I tried to reason with her, this is one of the responses I got. It hurts knowing that my own family has been caught up in this cycle of hatred.